Today on the channel, it's an exciting announcement and we're unboxing this. Let's get into it. What's up, barbecue fans? Welcome to the driveway. And ignore my weeds. I have not cleaned up for spring yet. This is an unexpected outdoor unboxing. I was not expecting this yet, but it is time for me to make an official announcement. And that is that I've joined Team Red and you're gonna be seeing a lot more Komodo Joe content on the channel. And I'll talk a little bit more about that in the upcoming videos. But today we've got a new Big Joe that I gotta get unboxed. So as you can see, everything is in nicely labeled boxes here. Super simple, there's a slow roller. Just like that, we've got the base assembled. We've got the Big Joe emptied out. That's gonna make it as light as possible. Now, this is a two or three person job. The big thing here is don't lift by these. These are for the shelves. You lift by the ashtray door hole and you lift by this hinge. So only two places you're supposed to lift this. Now, to give you an idea, it's taken 44 minutes to get to this point right from the time I introduced the video to unboxing as far as we've gotten. Now I'm gonna get a couple people come over, help me lift it and put it in here. I have the two front wheels locked. They don't wanna be on camera, so I'll bring you back a little bit. So two and a half days later and what feels like four inches of rain, we're back on the patio. Mother Nature has decided to give me about an hour, hour and a half to finish up this video. So that's what we're gonna do. We've had it all covered up. So we'll take that off. Now I almost wish we had video of moving this guy around and reorganizing the patio. Let me tell you, it was quite the feat. Uh, let's just say that when I bought wood for my ramp to come up to this upper level patio, I should have bought wood that's a little thicker. Anyhow, let's look at this guy. I haven't done much more from when we left off other than lifting it up and uh, getting it on the, case, on the uh, stand. What we're gonna do here is we will Start to put this together. As you can see, I've got the firebox components over here. I've got our slow roller over here. And on this side, outside the camera, I've got everything else. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our shelves. The Big Joe has already got the holders in place. So here's one of our side tables. The one thing here is you wanna have the Komodo Joe logo forward. Now, for those of you who aren't aware, I actually had a Series 2 Big Joe for several years and it's a nice upgrade to have these aluminum tables or side tables. So we'll just put these in here and they'll just go like so. Get the other one. So now what we'll do is we'll start to put the firebox. Let me bring in close and show you how that goes together. So first things first, we're gonna position this in the center. And really what we're trying to do is make sure that we can slide out our ashtray. And we'll put in the base. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna steal a trick from Smoking Dad Barbecue and we're gonna just take some paper towel, or toilet paper, whatever you wanna use. And we're just gonna to start to brace these up a little bit. What we have to do is we have to be able to get these away from the wall so we can get our ring on properly.
And here we are with our fire ring. And what I'm doing is I'm just taking my fingers behind and pushing it inside. And the big thing here is we wanna have this front to back. You can see I'm a little cockeyed here, so we'll move it over. There we go. And just like that, we've got it. Now what we can do is we can fish out all of our paper towel. So unfortunately my microphone battery died in the middle of that, but what I did is I took a set of these and we went around the outside and removed all that paper towel. You can leave it in there, it'll eventually burn, uh, or you can just clean it up next time you do your spring cleaning. The other thing that I did in this process is I noticed that when I put my fingers in, we weren't centered, okay? So I just pushed from the base inside, and I, I push this back just a hair. So now we're, we're equal. Make sure your ring is tight. The one thing before we grab the basket, I wanna point out, and this is actually a, a pro tip from Smoking Dad Barbecue. You can see that I, I started with this back here, or you could start with it up here. The vent is here. So we're putting a solid piece here to prevent any possibility of extra air coming in and causing us temp temperature fluctuations. So put your pieces like this, so you're blocking your vent. That way you'll ensure that you've got no airflow problems and be able to get super stable temperatures. And then we'll throw in our basket. Now this basket here is a big step up from what the Series 2 had. I actually ended up buying an aftermarket basket, but this new basket, super thick at the bottom and the sides. This gives us some great airflow. You're never gonna need to upgrade this basket. And the other thing that's nice about this basket, now we can do some dedicated two-zone cooking. You can go both ways. And the big upgrade with the Series 3 here is, of course, we've got a taller, so we've got a three-tier divide and conquer rack now. And all we do is we just put this in here. And there you go. You lift up your basket all at once if you want. Of course, we have our star accessory. Deflector shields. And our cooking grates. Which as you can see can go up two different levels and we can still have our heat shields in place. And of course the other accessory that I'm really excited about is this guy right here. This is our slow roller. And we go on like that. And the claim here is 20% more smoke. The smoke comes up, hits the dome, and kind of circulates down on your meat. Super excited to play with this. And away you go. So before we go any further, let's look at last week's contest winner. And this was the ribeye video from Mother's Day. The hashtags were hashtag Snake River Farms, hashtag Wagyu Beef. Thirty-two comments using the hashtag. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> wow, <laughs> Cindy Paul, this is the uh, third time winning. <laughs> Cindy Paul is a husband and wife. They are a Patreon member, so I will double it once again for the third time. Um, <laughs> another great video. Had never seen a salt block used to sear but it looks like a good idea. Love the potato, hashtag Snake River Farms, hashtag Wagyu Beef. Just goes to show you, if you're not a Patreon member, you are missing out, because I will double it. I don't, need to, I don't need to confirm your email address, because I've already got it, so we'll send you a gift card real soon. Let's get back to the video. So if you're new here, every week, Thursday to Thursday videos and Tuesday to Tuesday videos, we do a contest on the channel. Super easy, I'll put all the rules on the screen, but all you gotta do is be subscribed to the channel. You have to like this video, give it a thumbs up, and just comment on it with the hashtags associated with that video. And today's hashtags are gonna be hashtag Kamado Joe and hashtag Kamado Cooking. Just comment down below. Next week, I'll do a random comment picker. And if you win, you will win a $25 gift card to appybq.com. And if you happen to be a Patreon member, it starts at five bucks a month. I'll double it and make it 50 bucks. Now that we've got our Komodo Joe together, 
We only have one problem. I can't do the initial burn in. You don't have to do one, but it's nice just to burn all that foam out of there. And honestly, I would have just got ready right to cook it anyhow. But we only have about 30 minutes before the rain comes in. Now in the beginning, I did tease some exciting news. If you haven't figured it out yet, I did join Kamado Joe. What that means for you is that on Thursdays, we're gonna be doing some Komodo Joe content. Now, I will mix it up a little bit. I gotta keep you on your toes. On occasion, we'll do a battle video where I have maybe a brisket. We'll do it on the pellet grill, on the Komodo, and on the offset. See how it cooks, see how it looks, see how it tastes, just to help keep educating you and helping you step up your backyard barbecue game. Now, before you ask what happened to Komodo Komodo, the reality is, is that I'm out of room. The patio just isn't big enough, and originally, I planned on having a gas grill, for my Komodo Komodo, and that was it. Then we decided to try this YouTube thing, and here we are, we've added a pellet grill, we've added an offset, which I never ever thought I'd have, and we'd, we've added a wood-fired oven, and I'm out of room. I just don't have enough room to have everything here. And the other piece of this is that the Komodo Komodo is an amazing grill. However, it is a luxury grill that not everyone can relate to or afford. So I wanted to have some more relatable content. I owned a Komodo Joe before. I know they're a great product. So I'm excited to join Komodo Joe, AKA Team Red, and put out some Komodo content for you. Now it doesn't matter what kind of Komodo grill you have, they all kind of work the same. So whatever content I put out, you'll be able to relate to. If that interests you and you're not subscribed yet, please do so below. Thanks as always for watching. I'll see you soon.